Hello and welcome to the Wicker Library. My name is Aaliyah and today I'm going to be continuing my read of the Heroes of Olympus series by Rick Riordan. If you haven't watched part one of this vlog, please do that because I am going to be jumping off right away with the House of Hades, which is the fourth book in this series. So if you want to watch me read the first three books in this series for the first time, feel free to, you know, click off this one and watch part one. I have been loving this series so much and I took a little break from it so that I could have a bit of a palate cleanser. I'm very much a mood reader and so I was really in the mood to read some other books. I read some translated fiction. I read some like retellings of fairy tales that were really dark and Alas to say, I am back in the mood for the Riordan world and specifically to fall in love with these characters even more. And yeah, I have already started The House of Hades. I'm not too far into it. I only read a little bit on my commute to work today, but I am starting a new job nearby me as a barista. So I have a lot more commuting time, which means I have a lot more reading time. So over the next couple of days, I hope to read and love the House of Hades, and I'll update you all more when I have more thoughts. <laughs> Hello, it is Saturday afternoon and I had some of my cousins over all day so I was pretty busy with that but I have been reading quite a bit of the House of Hades recently. Again, I've just been reading it a lot on my commute to and from work and I'm about 20% through. I've been reading it on my Kindle which I got recently which I've been loving a lot but the House of Hades is very fun. I honestly just, I kind of want more Nico. <laughs> um, I'm sure it'll, you know, he'll, he'll be more of a present character as we go along in the story. Um, I do really love Annabeth and Percy chapters while they're, you know, stuck in Tartarus <laughs> and trying to figure their shit out. We just met Bob, or re-met Bob technically. Uh, so that's where I'm at with that. As for the other guys, the other characters, I do really enjoy Hazel. Uh, I think she's very sweet and I can see a lot of development coming for her. I constantly forget Jason is there. Like, I, I just forget he's there. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh yeah, Jason. Piper irritates me when I'm in her head, when I'm just observing her from another character. She's very bearable. Like, I don't really have any thoughts or opinions. Honestly, Frank, I really liked in The Son of Neptune. The Mark of Athena and House of Hades, I have not been as strong of a Frank fan, I gotta say. His chapters, especially right now and recently, he's so mopey and doubtful about himself, but to an extent where it's like, you're so self-conscious that's a little annoying. Like, he's very powerful. Like, I don't know. He's just, he's so mopey and whiny in his head to himself. And it's just really annoying. Because I'm like, get your shit together. Because then you'll be like a valuable member of this team. Because like, oh, you're scared you're not a valuable member of this team. Then like, start acting like one. Instead of maybe like complaining in your room. Like, I, I don't know, man. And his relationship with Hazel could 
honestly care less about at this point. But yeah, so I want more Nico. I want more Percy and Annabeth. And Frank needs to act a little more in general. Frank just needs to give me more right now. Hello, it is now Monday and I, it's Memorial Day, but I still had work. So I've been up since 5 a.m. I had a 7 a.m. shift and I read a little bit of the House of Hades before my shift and then I had my shift and I made so much coffee and I drank so much coffee. So I was very caffeinated. I came home, I took a nap and then I went out with my dad and we practiced driving. I don't have my license or anything like that. I'm really used to just public transportation and I have rather bad driving anxiety. So learning to drive has been a process. And, but I did drive up the hill and I drove through some like stoplights and stuff like that. And I did good and I'm a decent driver. I just am so very, very anxious behind the wheel. And I'm really, really tense and stressed, but I'll learn. <laughs> I'll get that license eventually but in the meantime I've been having a lot of fun with the House of Hades. I'm getting a little bit more of Nico. Right now I'm almost 50% through. Nico and Jason are about to meet Cupid and I have a feeling I know what might happen or be revealed and I'm really looking forward to it but Percy and Annabeth chapters have been really entertaining. I really enjoyed Hazel's chapters, her learning to like use the mist. She's so, she's so cool. I really, really like Hazel. She's growing on me for sure. Always gotta love my boy Leo Valdez. I love Leo so much. His comedy relief, but also his chapters are such a nice little palette cleanser. I love him so much. Jason, I'm actually kind of enjoying just only because th it's through his perspective that we're seeing Nico and we're getting this trip with Nico right now, which I've been needing. I've been needing Nico so much. I really thought we were going to get his perspective in this book, and so far we haven't. So I'm a little disappointed about that. I feel like there's a lot of characters and not all of them are being weighed the same. Like, I know it's a lot of characters to juggle, but it's definitely tilted towards some and then you kind of forget the other ones are there because they're not present even when it's not their chapters. So that's a bit of a gripe I have, but it's nothing too serious. But Frank is growing a little bit on me. He had his like moment or whatever that like, oh, you know, prove yourself because I was complaining that he was, was not doing shit. But I feel like he's had that moment a lot already and he's still kind of like bleh of a character like he's just so meh right now um but i don't know he's he's fine i just i i don't know i don't know what's up with frank with me i just i'm not really enjoying his character all that much but that's bound to happen you know when there's a cast of like seven characters there's going to be some that you like less and some you like more but overall i'm enjoying the house of hades i have to technically return the ebook library book of it today but i'm hoping it doesn't like expire on my kindle until a couple more days because i still have a while <laughs> to read uh so that is my little dilemma right now but it's going well and I'm excited to see how it continues. Hello, hello. I have some House of Hades updates. So I was a little worried today because my ebook expired from the library and I like automatically returned, but 
Hoopla came in clutch and Hoopla also actually had a copy. So I was using Libby with my library and Hoopla also had a copy. So I was able to download that. And so I can continue from where I left off. I'm having so much fun in Leo's head right now. He met Calypso and I'm just, I love it. I love it so much. It is it is bringing me so much joy to see this relationship bloom and like how it's working and it's so funny and entertaining but also really heartwarming because you could just i'm i'm just so excited to see where it goes and yeah so i'm having a very good time i also picked up earthlings today because i didn't have a book i wanted to read because house of hades was not available to me at the moment and i'm almost halfway through earthlings i'm enjoying that but it's such a different mood and it's really really fucking dark so i'm kind of excited to go back to the house of hades and just read that and have have a fun time <laughs> while reading but i also wanted to show you all my little kindle pouch that i got i'll link the shop on etsy that i got and it's just it's so cute it has little cats playing with mice and i'm like that's adorable it makes me so happy so i'm going to spend the rest of today reading the house of hades and i don't have work tomorrow or any other plans tomorrow so i'm planning to go take a walk down to the park and just read and definitely finish the house of hades tomorrow because i just want to have that finished and start the next book and the next read So I have just finished The House of Hades. It was so, so good. It's the first five star I'm giving to this series. Everything else but has been so close to a five star, but not quite there. And so The House of Hades, I was expecting like the, the beginning, because it's a long book, the beginning half, I was like, oh, I'm enjoying this. The ending half, I was like, oh, this is breaking me and I'm loving this, not just enjoying this. So as much as I do wish there was more of Nico and as much as I wish just Nico, I wanted Nico's point of view so badly and I feel like it could have added so much to this book specifically. I'm guessing his point of view will for sure be in the final book, but I don't know. I just feel like it was a missed opportunity and I would have really liked to see more of him from his own head. Uh, I ended up being fine with Jason. He's, <laughs> he is such a guy. <laughs> He's just such a like normal guy and um, he's fine. I'm fine with Jason. But the whole plot and the whole Tartarus like adventures were like so heartbreaking but so well done. That's definitely where everything shined. Also Hazel's whole journey throughout this book and her fucking badassery <laughs> in like the final couple uh, battles was incredible. I love Hazel so so much. She's like top tier alongside you know obviously Leo. Also Leo and Calypso but anyway. Uh, Hazel is up there with Leo and Annabeth and Percy and all those people. Uh, the people who are still kind of faltering for me are Piper. She kind of, I kept forgetting she was there this whole book, like genuinely, like she's just not there in my opinion. Like I just forget she exists. Uh, same with Jason. He He's still above Piper for me right now. And Frank, I'm just kind of like, he's fine. He like had his whole couple moments and now he's a little less like just self-doubting which is a relief and that's what I wanted but also now that I have it I don't know if that's what will fix him in like my rankings so I'm really curious about the final book. I'm so excited to see more of Reyna. I really like her and just more in general from this crew. I want to see them and their dynamics with one another and all as one a little more too because I feel like right now all the characters are very individual except for the romances and I just I would I, I really did enjoy Piper and Hazel and Annabelle like 
when like the girls were supporting girls that kind of energy I really enjoyed and I want more of that in the in the next book but yeah this book is mainly making me want to reread the whole uh, Percy Jackson and the Olympians books but yeah so I'm having a blast I really really enjoyed the ending I really enjoyed how all of the big battles went down I was eating the book up the first, the beginning was a little slow but the ending was just so good that I couldn't give it five I couldn't not give it five stars so yeah I'm excited to dive into the blood of Olympus and yeah I'm planning to hopefully in the next couple days finish that and with finishing the blood of olympus finishing this vlog and this whole series <laughs> since I've updated you all on what I've been reading, but I finished Earthlings, so I've been really just focusing on the Blood of Olympus, which I'm really, really enjoying. I'm really liking how the perspectives we're getting are a little new, so we're finally getting Nico's perspective, thank god. We're also getting Reyna's perspective, which I wasn't really expecting at all and I really like her point of view and of course we have Leo and Percy and all all the people that I really really enjoy. Hazel is still kicking ass so I love her. Uh, I'm about 30% through the book right now and I'm really enjoying it. I'm laying in bed currently because I had to go home early from work because my back is really hurting me. I think I pulled something and if my hands are shaking just ignore them are shaking all the time uh but so yeah I I'm hoping I'll be able to go to work tomorrow because I do enjoy work a lot but yeah if I'm still feeling this in pain then I will not go to work tomorrow but I have like an appointment tomorrow with a chiropractor so hopefully I'll be figured out but yeah in the meantime I'm just going to read and hopefully get some chocolate because I'm in pain, so I feel like I deserve chocolate and just reading my little book. So it is the next morning. Um, I'm feeling better than I was yesterday. I'm still in a fair amount of pain, so I'm excited to go to the chiropractor today. Hopefully they'll like bend me back into shape, but what is kind of nice but also a little upsetting <laughs> is I'm pretty sure I know how I hurt my back and I heard it by driving. Um, I have such bad driving anxiety that I get really physically anxious and I get really tense and rigid while sitting. And before I thought that was only affecting my hands and the pain in my hands because I would wake up the mornings after you know, practicing driving and my hands would be really stiff. But apparently it also affects my back and makes me feel like I've broken a back or displaced a rib so that's fun if you have ever wondered why i haven't learned to drive before now and now almost in my 20s this is why <laughs> but since i am feeling better i'm going to try and do some self-care and self-care for me is reading and you know making myself a little caffeinated drink since i'm not working today and won't be able to make one at work but luckily my place of business has been really kind <laughs> about letting me not have to work while in pain so those are the plans for today and hopefully soon i will feel not in pain sibling behind the camera you're gonna make all the aesthetic shots of me making my little coffee but look i have Giardelli chocolate so hopefully this tastes amazing Let's get together. Ew, oh, jeez, baby. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. 
See, that's more like espresso. It's, it's still watered down. Melted. Like, you know, that's gonna be that looks like doo doo water. <laughs> I'm sorry. It does. So it has been a couple days since I last updated you all, but I did finish The Blood of Olympus and therefore I have finished the Heroes of Olympus series and it was so good. I loved all of the books, but the last two especially, The Blood of Olympus and The House of Hades were just, they were everything I needed. And the character dynamics and also the ending of The Blood of Olympus was beautiful it was chef's kiss the way it was like set up for so long throughout the book and you like it all came together so well and the character dynamics that i had been really wanting and kind of missing and just like the dynamics that weren't romantic i should say the fact that they came up and rick riordan fed me with like nico and reyna calypso and leo even just a little bit we got like all of the friendships that I just loved so so much and I'm so excited to eventually read the Trials of Apollo series next I think that's what I'll go with I did end up going to the bookstore <laughs> the other day and buying a box set of the Lightning Thief series for like $17 used which was awesome and I was also stupid and I thought I was buying the first book <laughs> in the Trials of Apollo series but I accidentally bought the first book in the Kane Chronicle series because they all look the same they all have like the same type of cover and I just didn't read closely enough which was my own fault but it was also only five dollars it was also used so I don't feel too bad about it especially since I do eventually want to read just like everything that Rick Riordan has written but I loved filming this like vlog and stuff and filming like all my reactions and being able to talk about it to a camera and just being able to like let out all of those thoughts because the series has been just so much fun that's like the word that I keep thinking of when I think of this series it's just so fun and it's so light and it doesn't really weigh on you as much as like there are darker themes and there's moments that are heavier it is definitely not a heavy series it's just fun and it's relaxing to read and it's really funny as well like just the humor is immaculate and I think my final ranking of the seven not including Nico of course because one he's not part of the seven but also like he's in the top we know this uh but I really love Percy and Annabeth to me they're like top tier but like tied Leo Valdez is also just top tier with them and that crew I just absolutely love afterward I really love Hazel Hazel rose to the top for me I love her character I love her character arc as well I think it's just so well done after Hazel I would probably put Jason um I don't care much for Jason but I really liked him in like the end and I I feel like I he's the most unliked character in the fandom at least from what i've observed and i just found him like fine and there the other the who i put below him would be frank frank did not really do it for me in the end i just i i think the trope of like the klutz and like the really soft teddy bear guy who's like really buff actually I like in some senses and this one it just it just didn't do it for me he kind of bugged me the whole time in the end I was fine with him again in the end I really liked everyone and I liked the team as a whole but Frank I just I don't know he just his the humor just didn't hit for me with Frank's character and like the softness and everything I just I didn't I didn't couldn't get behind it my least favorite remains to be Piper she just she didn't irritate me in the end she just 
is easily my least favorite. Like, now I don't hate her like I did while reading The Lost Hero, but oh my god, she's definitely, like, not up at nearly as the other levels. And honestly, her and Frank and Jason, I'm kind of all, like, you guys are in the bottom tier for me in an equal amount. So that's my weird final rankings for all of the characters. I'd love to hear more thoughts and opinions. I still don't want to look up any fan art or anything because there are so many series that I can con continue to be spoiled for. So I'm just going to read and then like have all of the content. And so I will look forward to that. But this is the end for this vlog. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reactions and following along on this like three week <laughs> vlog that I've been doing. So yeah, if you did enjoy, feel free to like and comment and subscribe and all those fun things. And yeah, a new favorite series has been discovered and I'm so excited to go into Rick's the rest of Rick's books, just all of them. I want to read all of them. And I will see you all in the next video. <laughs>